I think it's working now. Uh, bit of a weird delay on the camera, but I think we should be fine. So let's uh, head into the game and see if that works. And um, if you can type some stuff, I can see if the chat overlay works well as well. Otherwise, I'm going to have to uh, open up my phone. <clears throat> to see chat, which is not always super convenient. Right, oh yeah, now I see your chat in the screen as well. That's good. All right, yeah, there's supposed to be music, so now I'm going back in and out of the game, that's why it's uh, stuttering a bit. But now we are ready to go. All right. So in my own playthrough yesterday, I started with the samurai, which is kind of an interesting one, because you start with a, a katana and a bow as well, and some fire arrows. That's a pretty nice starting class. I'm having some fun with it. And I think for this one, I want to try the astrologer, which is a complete uh, magic focus. Hey! Welcome to the stream. The alternative would probably be the uh, prisoner, which is like... Maybe I'll try the prisoner. I kind of dig the dope um, helmet. So this is still magic focus, but it's a bit chunkier, a bit more um, uh, strength melee combat potential as well. So I'm gonna go with the prisoner, I guess. Let's do Gizonas. We're gonna do this pretty quickly. Okay, so we got, um, I think it said an S talk or something, and then a magic staff. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to um, <clears throat> take. Um, yeah, this will give us an extra sippy from our potion bottle. I think I'm gonna do that and then let's do some weird shenanigans with the look maybe. Oh yeah, we can do weird stuff. Okay, I was wondering, can we do weird stuff? But yes, of course we can do weird stuff. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> Look, there we go. <laughs> I can go completely bonkers with it. Um, I think I kind of want a dolphin as, as close to dolphin as we can get because Jazonaz is kind of a, a weird meme character we came up with in one of the AI dungeon streams. So yeah, this is dolphin-y enough. Maybe it's a bit on the blue side, but this is good. This is good. And then I'm gonna give him a dolphin schnoz as well, I think. No, 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 no. This is good, yes. What's that again? Oh yeah, this is this is what we're talking about. Let's create someone who's a bit weird. Do dig the facial hair actually. What are, little stash is <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm trying to make a dolphin dude, yeah. 
<laughs> what hair do we want? Yeah, completely bald, dolphin-y dude. I don't know exactly what's happening with the forehead there, but I like it. Yeah, I think this is dolphin enough. you know. No, I'm afraid, or I'm not sure about the voice options. Let's have a look. There's, I'm not sure if there's a way to preview them. So we got one, we got young voice one. Oh, sample. There we go. I think this is fine. Alright, let's um, not mess about too much. Maybe uh, reduce the body. Are we going to have a sleek dolphin look? There we go. <laughs> yeah, I wish we could. Alright, we're not going to waste too much time on this. We want to see the world, right? There we go. So we got prisoner build, which is... Um, this is what we're gonna look like. We got this cool helmet. We got a magic staff, wand thingy, and it's probably a dex-based. It's an S-talk or something. Dex-based weapon. Golden seed, which is um, uh, gonna help us a little bit with extra sips for healing or mana points. So yesterday night, I or like early. Very early this morning, I uh, I did the tutorial with my first character, and the first enemy I came across was like a boss, and I got insta killed. And then we ended up somewhere completely different. Um, so I'm wondering what the deal there was. The fallen leaves tell a story. I missed your message there. I think I'm gonna change the message settings in a bit after the intro. Elden Ring was shattered. Because the messages disappear really quickly. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Now, Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods... I think I've seen this one, actually. ...claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all.
Horalu, chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask, Fear, the Deathbed Companion, the loathsome Dung Eater, and Sir Gideon Ophnir, the All Knowing. Yeah, it's it's proper moody again. There's a brightness to the game as well, but I think, as usual, there's this very dark, gloomy undertone to the whole world. All right, let me just fix and the chat settings. How do I fix the overlay? Home grace would again bless a tarnished of no renown. Cross the fog to the lands between. I love that helmet. To stand before the Elden Ring. And become the Elden Lord. Am I? Alright, so let's see if I can fix the overlay, where is it? Oh, that's what you said, the buff look reminds me of those niche romance novels about dinosaurs. Yeah, they're very niche. Um, where is the overlay? In-game overlay. Chat duration, 10 seconds. Yeah, let's turn that into 30. So I can make sure not to miss your messages. There we go. Um, let's hop to it. All right. So we got shield. Nice little shield, it's parrying. And then we've got magic glint blade as um, as our spell. We've got only one spell, and then we got the, is this a stabby attack? Yes, it's definitely a stabby attack, and, and a little flourish. Okay, nice. Wait, how did I do that? Oh, that's the special move for the, um, for the impaling thrust. That costs blue focus points, though. What's this? Yeah, it's an S-talk. Cool. We've got the glintstone staff and the rift shield, which is a pretty decent shield. Prisoner clothing. Hey, welcome. No arm armor, the prisoner trousers, and the prisoner iron mask. All right. And um, what's the spell do? How do we see that? Magically blade. Creates a sigil that performs a, performs a projectile glint blade after a delay. Okay. See how that works. Ah, all right. So I'm assuming that tracks to enemies. That's good. So I've never come back here after the first time, which is pretty interesting. Because of course yesterday I started here as well. And 
then there's this graveyard here. Let's see what people are saying. Praise the tree. Sign for Elden Ring. There's a fog wall there, but. Basically, not a very great ch chance of actually defeating this one. <laughs> um, but the interesting part is. We go somewhere else now. Um, so I'm assuming that we will one day be back to uh, face that boss we just fought and maybe get some vengeance. But for now, we end up somewhere different, and that's kind of interesting. I do kind of like the spell. But there's not too many uh, focus points, so we're going to have to be a bit careful with that. Our trusty Don't Steve. worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Does it now? Notice we also didn't have any way to heal ourselves in the previous battle. So if you defeat that first boss at the first try, you're you're a real you're a real player. That's uh, that's interesting. I mean, it's perfectly doable. I... <laughs> All right. So now we got our flask of crimson tears, flask of cerulean tears for the focus points. And there is this. This dude here, this spectral dude in the chair, which shows up later too. Brave Tarnish, take the plunge. Oh, I haven't tried that yet. Of learning and remembrance. No, no, I'm gonna take a literal plunge. And I actually survive. Yeah, let's go. Where do we end up? Because this is new. This is an alternative direction from the starting area, I think. So this is uh, this game's equivalent of the bonfire. I forgot what the, the start of Sekiro was like, uh, to be honest. That was a very tumultuous period of my life that I saw that. Oh, this is completely different than what I did with my other character. So there's multiple directions you can go in from the start of the game. That's nice. So sneak mode. This is new. Um, let's backstab this mod. No spells needed. However, if we do want to do the spell, let's see how much damage it does. Oh, 
Oh, that's pretty, uh, pretty decent. In a mine place. Yeah, I do sort of remember the first areas and the first bosses a little bit, but... Okay, yes, we now have to cast spells. No worries, might. So yeah, now if you block an attack and you immediately um, hit right trigger, you do a sort of counter attack. Which is, um, does that take focus points? I'm not sure. It does not. Okay. So that's all easy enough. So it doesn't use any focus points and it's... Um, It's a sort of a counter-attack thingy. Where are we now? This is a uh, new... Oh! Oh heck! Someone's shooting at us. And here's some crafting materials, which is also a thing. This is maybe, this looks like it's the actual tutorial area and it looks like I skipped it by just going through the door. I need to actually press the parry button if I want to parry that maybe maybe it's a good idea. I'm so bad at parrying though. Just uh, let's say a, a guard breaking combo attack, something, something. So here's another archery type, probably. Screw that guy. I'm uh, my, my reaction time for parrying is. Uh, I mean, sometimes I can make it work, but mostly... Oh, so this is where it came from, heck. That's why the guy is shooting at me. So yeah, I guess this is a tutorial area and I just skipped it. I just mashed it. That was not a parry. That was a parry. And then there's some jump attacks as well. Which are cute.
Wait, hold on. Yeah, this is the tutorial area. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Where is the exit, though? Oh, here. Stance breaking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Charge attacks and jump attacks make it particularly easy. To... Okay. Okay. Yeah, that stunned stunned this dude a little bit. Stakes of America. Upon dying, you will be revived. The last sight of grace. Hmm. Huh? Do I have to activate it? No, it's just there. Oh shit! I I skipped the whole boss. <laughs> That's uh, interesting. Oh, it's actually a very weak boss, looks like. That's... We can't call this a boss, can we? I mean, he had a name, but that's about it. Yeah, for the speed run, you just do not want to do. Uh... Oh, and then you end up back here. Yeah. So, so I, I just went straight for the door there, and then I missed this item. Oh, it's uh, it's a move. So I went straight for the proper opening. Bright Vista, no, it's just a dungeon. Okay, whatever. And here we get... An embrace thingy, let's rest there. Okay, so these are apparently... Um, yeah. I don't have a stone sword key, though. And they can open up the veil here. But we haven't found one of those items yet. You can take one as... A... Oh yeah, this is your uh, co-op items. I think you can take one of those keys as your starting item. Uh, but I didn't do that. Proper Vista. In it, in it. It's pretty nice. So we found another Lost Grace point. And then you see the subtle guidance. Well, it's not super subtle, but like the thing in the sky is telling us to go towards that ruin at the other end there. And there's we have a map. Yeah, we come out of the vault, right? <laughs> we have a nice map here. So these are the graces we were in, the cave, and the stranded graveyard. And this is called the first step. And hello. Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Ooh. Come to the lands I'm between for the Elden NPC. Ring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course you have. No shame in it. No shame. Unfortunately for you, however, 
You are maidenless. Am I? Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Wow, rude. Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless, me, Vare. Take care to listen. Bruh. Are you familiar with grace, the golden Bruh. light that gives life to you tarnished? You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction. Okay, nice times. story, but you see that, that guy on the horse the down there? Of that grace, guy is a total a jerk. That a tarnished must travel. An mm. absolute, Indeed. utter jerkowitz. Grace's guidance holds the answers. Bosses on it horses are you not tarnished cool. to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Is he? Grace's guidance will yeah, reveal super the sus, path right? forward, most certainly. Took the home of the decrepit. Oh no, we do get a maiden. <laughs> I'll, 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 okay, let's go. Let's go to the maiden. So the first thing I did yesterday with my samurai was uh, go towards the beach down there, and there's interesting stuff down there, including a, um, a pretty important salesperson who sells some crafting items and. Um, and it's like a farming spot for fire butterflies or flame butterflies and you can use those to make fire bombs and stuff so that is pretty uh, useful to go down to the beach there and look around a bit these are rune fragments you can also use those for crafting so now we go to this ruin here i only discovered this later today but this is actually the first place you're kind of supposed to go So first we find this. This is our smithing stone and an anvil where we can upgrade our items. Yeah, the world is very pretty. We can boost our weapons and stuff here. So if we can boost the, uh, the staff. We can, but we would need... Uh, what? Another smithing stone and 200... Oh yeah, this would increase the sorcery scaling for the staff. Don't need to do that now. And we've got a little friend down here. You're a tarnished. I can see a it. A very cool musical and instrument. And I can also see that you're not after my throat. <laughs> then why not purchase a little something? I am Kale, purveyor of fine goods. I am of a nomadic people. Selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. Okay. Recommendation? You know, if you can spare the runes, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own essential really if you intend to survive out here for any duration the kit costs a bundle and i admit i do take my cut but the important thing is that you survive every customer counts after all all right so let's do that we've got 600 rooms and the crafting kit is 300 and then we just have it and then there's other stuff so these Notes are, um, tell you, they're just hints about the game. They're pretty cheap. He sells an armor set, a chainmail armor, a new shield, which is kind of nice. Torch is pretty useful. And then a telescope. There are lots of one-off items here that are useful. The cracked pot is very useful. That allows you to make, um, keep crafting projectiles. And then you need these cookbooks uh, here to uh, 
learn crafting recipes. And you can see what they teach you. So this one teaches you bone arrows and bone bolts. So that's just basic projectiles. This one teaches you glowstones and cured meats. And this one is for holy water uh, grenades. That's probably useful for something. I don't know what yet. And you can buy arrows here if you happen to be an archer class and you have a bow. Um, but mostly we want to get the basic crafting stuff from this dude, I think. I'm glad you took my warning to heart. You've made an excellent choice. Now... If I, yes, yes. I'm not going to spoil everything for everyone, so... Let's rest here. And then we... Something else will happen. We can fast travel between these, so that's easy, no hassle. And then... Let's... Let's rest until nightfall. Oh, I don't get the thing yet I got last time. That's interesting. I wonder what is the trigger for... Um, so we don't want to fight the guy on the horse yet. He's... Uh, yeah, not so nice. Let's just scout around a little bit. See how well our spells do against these basic knight types. Almost. Huh. There's something glinting on there. Well, I haven't tried to climb this one yet. That might actually be a good idea. I think the rune fragments can be used to make um, glow stones and stuff like that, if I'm not mistaken. Let's have a look. Crafting. Yeah, see, so we can make rainbow stones with the rune fragments. So let's make a few rainbow stones and uh, see what they do. Yay! We can get some light. And then we got these balls down here. They recharge your um, flask if you destroy them. Okay. But yeah, you, as you can see, it's um, a lot less linear than um, you'd expect from the Souls games is my feeling because we've got a whole bunch of directions we can go and there's not always a clear indication like um, where are we supposed to go except that temple we just went to with the merchant that was an obvious place like okay you're supposed to go here what's this what is this huh So you can follow the grace across the map, and it'll lead you somewhere.
Godric Soldier, Gauntlets, and Bolts. And more Bolts. Oh yeah, and then there's these weird skulls. Which drop um, runes, which is the equivalent of souls, I guess. So yeah, there's all these fire-carrying soldiers here. I missed the backstab somehow. And there's a little boar there that I don't want to fight. Let's see if the map can give us any clues. So yeah, this is the glint direction. So we're in principle going in the right direction, but it's uh, not extremely clear where we're supposed to go right now. So maybe we can see it in the sky somewhere. So that the huge glowing trees are sort of an indication of where we could go. But it's not like you have to go here. And there's a whole ruined camp down here. Oh, these are annoying creatures. Oh, but they're not attacking me right now. They're not too strong. And there's a knight down there. That's kind of annoying. Oh, that's where the glint is going. Oh, wow, they're, they're traveling in gangs. Yeah, vanquishing enemy groups sometimes recharges your flask. That's kind of nice. Ha! Uh. Huh. I didn't think that would work, but it did. So as you can see, we have stealth options. Lore. <clears throat> so here's another grace point, so let's save there. Take out the dude that's guarding this wagon. Yeah, I mean, I reckon it's a bit more work, yeah, but. But I will say, it feels like it feels very natural. Uh, it's a different philosophy of area design. Ooh, a great sword. Nice. Uh, it's a different way of designing areas, maybe, but it feels A, very well done, and B, like it actually fits the games very well. Because it already had this philosophy of. Um, figure it out for yourself and to have a bit more of an open world structure sort of increases that feeling of like oh yeah we, we really are figuring out stuff now you need 16 strength for the great sword it's a nice one though and it's got stamp upward cut as a special move so this is for the strength build so you want the um 
let's let's actually just see what it does, right? Can we wield this properly? To that looks like, right? Um, oh wait. Unless wheel with both hands. Yeah. So the move set. That's a that's like the Black Knight great Black Knight sword kind of slash. These are heavy chops. Let's see if the jump attack does. Uh, the interactions are um, with the Y button. A lot of stuff is hidden under the Y button. For example, switching between uh, two-handing and one-handing means you hold the Y button and then you can press the triggers to decide whether you um, want to dual wield the left hand item. So we can also dual wield our, our sword. Super cute. Uh, our shield, I mean. Uh, and then as you can see now, I'm holding Y and then a little item menu pops up. And that's like a quick item kind of thing you can use, for example, to summon your steed, which we shall do shortly. Let's try the greatsword, actually. Why not? Oh, I am. Get to name the items you need? Don't think so. <laughs> oh, that was not a good dodge. Oh, the steed. No, it's got an in game name. It's called Torrent. So yeah, the jump attack works. And here we got... The flail. I already knew that. So let's try the flail. You need dexterity 18. So we can't actually use this properly. But it's cool, it's a proper flail. So let's switch back to the S-Talk. So if we go back to the, um, the temple, maybe we can get the steed. And there's a lot of these grace points, so it feels like... Um, with some persistence, uh, I think the game should be reasonably doable for newcomers compared to some of the older games. It's, uh, it's not as unforgiving, I think. Oh, oh, here we go. Something's happening. Here's your unsubverted motif <laughs> from beyond the floor. it's the bonfire lady <laughs> the maiden she's here after all i call her doll face it do be a maiden i offer you an accord So the thing is... Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? 
No, but they sound like a fun bunch. They serve the two fingers, offering guidance and aid to the tarnished. Whoa, and look you, at that bush go. I am afraid. <laughs> that is windy. Are maidenless. I can play the role of maiden. Turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden So that's Lane. your level up, lady. Obviously. You need only take me with you. So your level up, lady, will travel with you. To the you. foot of the Erd Tree. But here's the thing. You can refuse her. I don't know what happens then. Um, maybe you can just do that now. and uh, That probably means you can just can't I level understand. up. I'm asking you to put faith in but a stranger. Yet I'm certain that we can reach an understanding. Summon me by grace, oh. if you should reconsider. <laughs> you don't actually reject it. She's just like, well, I'm going to stick with you anyway. Well, no, there's no level up option. Summon me by grace if you change your mind. Hold on. How then? Talk to Melina. All right, you can talk to her again. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh, there she is. Have you reconsidered my offer? I understand. Yet I'm certain that we can summon me by grace. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Now we want we it's it's horse time. It's horsey time. Where where is the temple again? We can actually just sap back to the temple if we're lazy. Church of LA, I mean. So And we can buy some more stuff now. Wait, well, you're back. Care to buy something? So we can um, buy some of the crafting stuff. So those are one time Goodbye. Uh, purchases. Nice to do business. I like the little donkey here, the mule. Yeah, where does this thing point? Vaguely towards the big tree there, that is uh, not very helpful. Ah, I, last time I, I rested here. I got something. But now it's not there. Interesting. Hey, see you later. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, there's a jerk on the horse again. I hate him so much. scaling more balanced scaling let's try that one
That's a pretty nice opening move. Square off. You definitely break their guard with it. It doesn't cost too many points. So yeah, it's a cute weapon. So yeah, I've seen a bit of this cave. Um, it's kind of creepy. So let's have a look here. summon buddies if we need to. This is like a little wolf cave. I'm not bothering anyone, but... There is a boss in here that I want to see. I want to see what it is. <laughs> Just for the heck of it. Beastmen of Farum Azula. The magic did some damage. Serious damage. It's just that he's got a pretty wild move set. Let's rest here, give ourselves a little more magic points. Can add a charge. And I'm gonna do an extra magic charge. Great sword, nah. All right, let's try this dude again. Wait, there's materials here? Oh, there's moss. Nice. Good to have. Sometimes 
sometimes it misses. This is cheesy ball as heck. Alright, let's finish him off with a blade. Talisman? What's that? Well, we, we did it. First boss. Return to entrance. What's the talisman? So this is a good boss to start out with. He's pretty weak in terms of hit points and stuff. Boost fire damage negation. So how do we do we wear this or something? Yeah, we wear it. Seems good. So what's good? What's the deal with this cave? These are our rooms from the last time. Is there anything else we can find here, or is he just sitting here in this cave doing nothing? No hidden path ahead. Yeah. Unfortunate. So this beast dude was just chilling here in the cave and we went up and killed him. That's a bit rude actually, isn't it? But hey, that's one boss. Gives you a thousand runes you can use for buying stuff or leveling up, I guess. Nice to know. I like this sword, it's quick, it's punchy. It doth stab the back. Effectively, I like the power move. There's lots to like about this sword. I'm not sure how much the golden runes give, but it might be uh, 200 something. Oh, my focus points are gone. Okay. Fair enough. No, I don't want to fight you, you little, my little boar friend. No, why are you fighting me? It's your own fault. I hate it. So yeah, the cave boss is easy. It's like a mini dungeon there.
However, the horse boss is extremely hard. So where do we go? Let's see if we can get our horse this time. Or maybe we're supposed to have fought the horse boss before getting the horse. Is that how it works? Because that might be it. He's like, oh, this other guy's fighting on a horse. Maybe you should fight on the horse. Actually, maybe. Wow, they all missed? Are you kidding me? see what happens when we rest here now. No, still no steed. How do we trigger the steed? Oh my god, I hate it. Yeah, this guy is a jerk. sure how to defeat him yet. So let's still try some other things. This is pretty deep down. I'm wondering if we can safely make our way down here somehow. From here. Yeah, this should be doable. Accidentally killed one of the local little wildlife creatures. No. I hate it when that happens. So, what's the deal here? Oh, well, this is interesting. This is a whole pit. Yeah, we do not want to jump in there. No idea where this leads. I haven't been here with my other playthrough yet. So, oh, this is part of the beach. Fair enough. Which, let's have a look at the map. Okay, this is a part I haven't seen yet. Though. Now, there seems to be no. This is, can we safely jump down? It looks like there's a... At least there's a fire down there, but I'm not sure if there's a safe sequence of steps to jump down. It looks kind of hairy. But then again, this game is all about experimenting. Oh no, that's way too big of a jump. <laughs> Oh, look at that. It's a, a bat creature just hanging there. Hey, what's with the range on this thing? Oh, there we go. 
I really want to get to that island, but I haven't figured out yet how to do it. I've been down to the beach as well in the previous uh, playthrough. There's some interesting stuff down there that you should check out early in your playthrough. Some crafting stuff you will like. Stuff to make fire bombs with, that kind of stuff. Very useful. Recipe as well for fire bombs. Right, what's the deal here in the swamp? Let's have a little look around. I'm not gonna fight the turtle, the turtle is too cute. What else is going on here? What are you? Oh, they have it like a dog or something. That's a whole lot of cultists and stuff, though. I wonder if it's worth it. Wonder if it's worth to fight those dudes right now. Sippy back. How's well, this then? Just a golden room. Boring. However, there is a grace point there. Nice one. Seaside ruin. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff going on there in the distance. How do we get to the other side? It's not clear. a lot of enemies. I fought these before though, they're not so tough. This 
seem to be all fighting with knights. Some kind of group battle or something. Interesting. doable if you want to it's a nice little farming spot for uh, some practice but where does this lead it's very oh there's camp there so you see is the open worldiness of this game sort of there's there's stuff to go to without it trying to get your attention through like oh there's a quest marker on the map or something you just look around you see like hey there's a campfire there and then you go check it out you can put markers on your map if you want to sliver of meat well it's probably useful once you get a recipe for it Maybe we do actually have a recipe for it, I don't know. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, but we also need three golden roas, crab eggs, and land octopus ovary. Wow, that's a complicated item to craft right there. Whoa, look at the huge crab, jeez. That's, that's crab level. Wow. Oh my god. I don't want to fight the huge crab. He's too cute. Look at him. What a what an absolute boss. These, however. Bloody dragonflies. And there's a... something going on here. That dragonfly is bugging the hell out of me. Hey, is this another spot that we haven't seen yet? There's some guy on a, on a horse. Yeah, it looks like this is a new spot. Okay. Where are we now? Agil Lake South. Okay. Ooh, what are they doing here? <laughs> the dude on the horse. Okay.
doable, but not super easy. And there's all these dudes on the road. What are you what are y'all doing? You wanna fight? Not really, right? Oh, oh, you do wanna fight. They're pretty weak, but apparently they cast magic. Weird. So where does this road go to? Where are, where are you doing here? to it. Poor things. What's this stone? Doesn't do anything. Okay. So yeah, there's plenty of surprises there as well. It feels like the game is, uh... What do we call it? Content to let you figure stuff out. In a lot of ways. I kind of dig that. Lots of weird, random stuff to discover, and... It kind of lets you figure out your own story after a while, which is what we expect from these games. It's going to be interesting to see how that plays out in the long run. So I'm going to... Okay, now I don't want to look at this. It's always like, what's the next thing we're going to look at? These weird pillars here? What the heck is this? Okay, so this is our resurrection statue, so this must be a, a weird boss area, right? Oh my god, look at these stone... What? Look at that's an arena right there. What the heck are these weird stone caterpillars? What the heck? But yeah, this this is a boss arena, right? Forlorn Hound Everjail. You enter it, and then what? All right, let's let's have a little look at that before we quit. <laughs> what do we just do? Let how nice Gary was. Oh no. This 
might be a nice time to uh, to let it go for today. But it's uh, it's an interesting one. Right, folks. Thanks for tuning in, and I uh, hope to see you next week. We will announce on the Twitter um, what who's going to stream and what game we're going to play, etc. So we'll catch you, folks, later. Bye.